Welcome to the Honeypot's Grave, the internet's premier internet comment commentary podcast. I'm Quinn. And I'm a literal toddler, apparently. Mm-hmm. So this week, uh, this week we watched Bands on the Run, which is a Silly Bands movie. If you're not aware... Yeah, remember Silly Bands? If Those you're... things from like the early 2010s, maybe... Where people would just put rubber bands with strange shapes onto their wrists and trade them around like they were tiny, tiny packs of drugs inside or something. Yeah, they made a movie about those. It's bad. We watched it. It's not good. It's not a good movie. Um, it's called Bands on the Run. You can find it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Presumably because the people who made it don't care enough to copyright it. Well, at least they copyrighted the song that they made for this movie. Oh yeah, they did use a tells you a lot. Song. I think probably the people who made that song is what, who copyrighted it. Probably. Actually, you know, <laughs> the company that made this is actually bankrupt and defunct. So good. That's another well, reason why they the might. Funk line episode on fucking bands on the runs creators, Elastic Studios. <laughs> So that's another reason why they might not have a uh, copyright claim to the video. Another Probably reason because literally everyone that worked there is either now in an accounting job or dead in the side of a ditch. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, where should we start? Probably the beginning of the movie. <clears throat> the start of the movie doesn't happen until one minute in because that first minute is taken up by an entire recapping of the story that you're about to read. Exactly. Or see. Or look at whatever so it starts and out it's with... really it's really really long and really really boring and you can't really tell what's going on since it's like one gigantic mural drawing that you'd find on like the side of a van or something just drawn with crayon and it's terrible <laughs> yeah it's it's like the movie starts out by telling you exactly how the movie is going to go and yeah it's a pretty good start epic spoiler warning uh, <laughs> so we start out with like we get a picture of a like a like a truck that's carrying a bunch of cargo or whatever to a store and then there's a rabbit in the middle of the road for no explicable reason even though we're in the middle of like the mohave desert or whatever Mohave? Mohave. Okay, I'm not even gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna not discuss it. So, the, the rabbit looks like desert. it's made out of fucking steel wool. Yeah, you had to be there to see it, but it was disgusting. I almost threw up. pretty nasty looking rabbit. It was so... very, very nasty. And here we are introduced to two characters. Uh, one of them is Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog, and the other one is, like, a worse version of Heavy TF2. Yeah. Uh... And there's a thing where, like, they try and give personalities to see, like, once or twice in the whole movie. So, like, Eustace's whole thing is that he hits the other guy with his hat a shit ton whenever he does stupid shit. And Heavy TF2 does stupid shit and, and gets his slapped hands are with a hat. Fucking huge. His hands are like yeah, the he size has of fucking humongous blades. hands. Like if you tried to high five him, you would probably die. His hands reach like his fingers reach down to the floor. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. Whenever the he editor, finds a penny on the floor for good luck, he doesn't even have to, he doesn't even have to bend down to pick it up. The other thing about this movie is that it looks awful. Uh, all the humans look awful. Mm-hmm. The silly bands look uh, look okayish. They look okay. That's debatable, actually. But like they clip through themselves a lot, and they're fucking rubber bands. So. <laughs> Epic animation. Very good animation. Oh, speaking of characters, perhaps I should tell you what some of them are. <clears throat> In reverse alphabetical order, ignoring the first letter of their names, we have Roxy, Amelia, Edwin, Cathode Ray, and Daisy. 
<clears throat> now, because I am literally the best human being on the planet, I have <clears throat> ordered these and given them all a two-word description. Here they are in order. <clears throat> Roxy, rock star. Amelia, doubt, comma, flight. Edison, light puns. Cathode Ray, newscaster. Daisy, mildly annoying. There's also another secret character that we don't get to see until like a fourth of the way into the movie. So we'll get to him when we get to him. I'm amazed that you remember their names. That's because I have a very big brain. I'm amazed that you paid attention to the movie enough to know what their names were. Because, spoiler alert for the rest of this podcast, I did not pay attention to the movie very much because it was bad. Maybe. It was not It was not good. Also, uh, since they are just like rubber bands, perhaps I should describe them. Okay. Uh, so, again, in order, Roxy is this, like, crappy, once again, rock star-looking silly band. And it's, like, somewhat human, but, like, just not human enough to sort of sit in that uncanny valley where it, like, looks real nasty. You know uh, what? No, I would, I would argue... I'd have to argue with that. The silly bands are more just, like, cartoon characters. I don't think they try to be realistic at all. I mean, true, uh, but, like, wanna... it still freaks me out that, like, her weird-looking guitar is technically part of her skin and body and nasty. Uh, Anyways, anyway, uh, next I mean, we if have... Looking, if you're looking for Uncanny Valley, this movie has... Quite a few Uncanny scenes Uncanny Valley nasty. for you. Uh, Roxy <laughs> also has a Steven Universe shirt on. Yes. As is required by law. <clears throat> uh, you have Amelia, which is just a fucking airplane with a clown nose, which is wearing an aviator cap, which... I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know There's why just... the clown nose. There's no... Yeah, why do you have a plane with a clown nose? She isn't, like, a clown airplane. She's not, like... She just has clown nose. Honk, honk. She just has a clown nose for like no reason at all i mean i don't ask why your boyfriend has clown properties i don't know why we're asking this goddamn rubber band of plane okay. why it has to be a clown like he <clears throat> is a clown the airplane okay. is not a clown it's just an airplane not a fucking clown it, the character has nothing <laughs> those to do two with things clowns. we're not mutually exclusive okay but the character has nothing to do with clowns <laughs> don't ruin their dream <laughs> the character the character has nothing to do with clowns so there's no reason for it to have a a clown nose the airplane is not a clown it, it just should has be. a clown nose for some reason uh, there's also Edison, which is a fucking light bulb. <laughs> and the, I, the one I hate about this one, the one I fucking hate about this one, is Edison. that it's like 3D. It's like they took an actual light bulb and they just like, just flattened it. And they just like, yup, that seems good enough. And then they just fucking slapped an outline on that and called it a fucking rubber band. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that Edison didn't inv invent the first light bulb, so uh, well, no, get he didn't. Rid of this. He didn't yeah, no, he the stole ideas. Bulb, yeah. But, like, everybody thinks he did. That's why it's <clears> funny <throat> that his name is Edison, the light bulb. Edison has a light bulb. Anyways. When uh, when the this... cathode ray, who, as the name implies, is a mm -hmm. television. But it's, like, a weird, nasty television with, like... You know that fucking uh, rubber pink mouth bank thing that like spread around Tumblr for a bit? Oh yeah, it's that. It has that mouth. It's nasty. Um, me, me when they name a light bulb Edison. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> uh, they just he just constantly makes like newscaster puns like. The joke and is now, that... at six, us getting run over by a bus. Yeah. Whenever just... fucking something interesting happens. And I then, finally, I... last and also least, Daisy, who's Flower. It's a flower named Roll Daisy. Roll the laugh track, people. It's a flower named 
fucking flowers. Hi, I'm Baby. Goofy. Silly. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> fucking hilarious, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> can Whoa! we can we hit twelve haha points on this podcast? <laughs> Fucking wacky. Well, a flower name. Could've, they could have gone for at least something better, like fucking petunia or a maybe rose. Named Daisy. Even then, that's a bit uncool. Sunny. Play that more than a once. Flower named Daisy. <laughs> Anyways. The first That's thing a that real in the movie where we meet our main five asterisk characters is just they fall out of a car. It's a big old truck that those other two guys were f- they in, fall inside. They out of a shipping truck, and then they're like, okay, the, the shipping truck to... is specifically for the advertisement of the number one hit store ever, Big Box. Epic Store. <laughs> <laughs> I, that that sounds like a shitty rip-off Metal Gear Solid character, not gonna lie. Big Box. Oh god, oh fuck, it's Big Box. <laughs> yeah, I'm Big Box. Uh, anyways, yeah, they fucking fall out of the van, and then they just fucking drive off without them, because the people don't see them as sentient, they just see them as rubber bands with shitty coloring and strange shapes. And the fucking... They don't get picked up, and they're just on the road in the middle of fucking nowhere. And they they just, like, hitch a ride on another person's car. They just fucking, like, glue themselves to it. It looks nasty. Yeah. It's rubber on rubber action. Because so... there's rubber bands and rubber tires. And shield the children's eyes. <clears throat> Anyways, I have no idea what happens next because I was too engrossed in the fact that one of them is called Cathode Ray to actually notice anything about the plot. So I think so, at uh, this point they go into uh 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 Oh yeah, they actually go store, into the store I and think? there's like a mom and her kids in there and the kids are like, We want silly bands and the mom's like, No, you fucking Fucking, I hate kids. I hate my children. You don't get fucking silly bands. And then, the, and then they see the bands, the silly bands on the floor. And they go to pick them up, and then I was like, "That's garbage." <laughs> and then they just move on, and that's it. <laughs> and then they get picked up by a trash can, and they get fucking tossed into the trash. And there's a fucking corpse yeah, get, in the dumpster. There's yeah, there's a like a, there's a fucking living corpse. There's a the dead dumpster. human corpse in the fucking dumpster, dude. For like Holy one shit. shot. And it's Call never the cops! Brought, Holy uh, fuck. Anyways, within the dumpster, they meet the sixth and final main rubber band character. I think his name is Slick. And I think it was his stretch. His two word describer is rubber band, because he's just a rubber band. He's literally the normalist out of the bunch. Yeah, he, he's stretch, and he is a rubber band, and also he's oh, like. Oh shit, his name is Stretch? Yeah. I thought his name was Slick! What the fuck? <laughs> they named a rubber band Stretch! <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it. I'm so angry, because my idea was like 12 times better. <laughs> Cause like how many? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> fuck you. Actually, they named the rubber band brain stretch. They named the rubber band stretch. I'm system thirty two. I swear to God. Anyways, where was I? What a funny uh, yeah. movie. Stretch what is a basically a jack movie. of all trades and also a father figure, <laughs> as much as a singular rubber band can be, at least. So anyways, he just fucking, like, quote-unquote shows them the ropes, and then yeah. they, like, they go from the dumpster to, like, a recycling plant, yeah. which, uh, I'm pretty sure dumpsters go to landfills, not yeah. recycling, but I don't know enough about trash to dispute it, Yeah. I'm despite f- the fact that I am trash, uh... So they go. Anyways, so they, like, there's like they're recycled. on a gigantic fucking conveyor belt, and they're like, "All right, here you're gonna learn your first step or whatever. Uh, trash is trash, and y'all are garbage." Uh, then for whatever reason, they go through like this family lineup of other rubber products, and one of them yeah. is a condom. One of them. Just like a straight condom. up a condom. Actually, I think there's two condoms. One of them is alive. The other one is a, another corpse. Yep. Yep. 
He's just like straight up dead. So they Fucking get rest and nut. recycled into like just a package of rubber bands. Yeah, then, they just like fucking zip zoop teleport right into a packet of rubber bands. And then it's like fucking DBZ up in this bitch. It's like then, uh, <laughs> some some child buys them because he has a paper route and he uses them to tie up the paper. Wow. And then we he get... also there's also a bit where he's just like fucking straight up playing video games and for like see... almost a full <laughs> half minute. You can see a like real life human's reflection in the screen of the computer i don't yeah know... it's like at first i thought that it was just like the player character and he was playing in sort of like minecraft f5 mode or something but no that's a reflection there's another person behind I, that reflection which I is the true main character no what which was... scares me i don't know what they did you don't ever see the face of the person at the computer is what i'm saying I so don't... uh <laughs> the Uncanny Valley comment really was true. I don't know what they did to get that footage that made... Did they, like, fucking... <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just, like, screen? stood someone at a computer and just, like, recorded the reflection. I don't... Yeah. It's wild that they did it that way and just, like, left it like that. Like, they couldn't use a screen share... Or, well, I mean, they could, like, record they, the these were the screen. same people that named a light bulb Edison, so. That's I mean, fair, but, like, they know they're. <laughs> at the very least, they know enough. They know their way around the computers enough to do some 3D animation. I'm not saying it's good, but they know their way around c computers enough to do a 3D animated thing. So, like. True. <laughs> Possibly true. Anyways, we get to the most important part of the movie. They just start singing for no reason. Glee. After Amelia gushes about how this fucking stupid idiot child likes airplanes a lot, they just decide to fucking play out some music to, like, cure her depression or whatever. Yeah, they just start singing for no reason for quite a yeah. while. Yeah, it's really fucking it long. And this is actually, anywhere. I think, the first time that literally every single character gets named. Yeah. We're like, they just like, fucking name drop them in the middle of the film. We're, like, halfway through the movie at this point, and now we're finally hearing their fucking names. So, like, okay. And even then, we didn't remember most of them. I you thought remembered we fucking... them. Well, I didn't remember what fucking Slick's name was. It's Turns stretch. out he's fucking called Stretch! Fucking arm strong over I think, here! I think you heard Slick at some point, and you're like, oh, this guy's Slick. And then you just, like, that's what you're... Imprinted. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> wild. Well. So... Um, there's also a bit during the musical where there's, like, they turn to, like, a picture on the side of the guy's computer accidentally. And it's... And it's, like, fucking, straight up a picture of Olimar. It's and a, a picture Pikmin. of... It's a, like, action... It's... <laughs> yeah, it's, a it's like an actual promotional art. It's promotional art for Pikmin, just in this from movie. Nintendo.com. So like, okay, epic, epic, epic. Just absolutely epic. Well, come on, Nintendo, why didn't you put fucking Amelia from Fans on the Run in Smash Five? What the fuck? So... <laughs> Side piece, clown nose. Okay, so then they get wrapped around a newspaper. And this is another bands. part that I do not like. Because who the fuck puts six rubber bands around one newspaper? Yeah. You're supposed to use, like, one really big rubber band, but this guy just uses, like, six regular ones. Yeah, that's... What the fuck? Uh, Hashtag unrealistic. Something. I'm gonna delete this movie from existence now. That's definitely something. Um, so also, that as soon as They get fucking watered down by a sprinkler system for no reason. It's yeah. terrible. Just, like, whoever gets the newspaper every day, just, like, fucking, nah, I don't want to read it. Fucking turn on the sprinklers. <laughs> don't know I'm struggling I'm going to that. remember what happens in this film. Me too, honestly. I think they, like, somehow just, like, fucking go to the park just immediately. Yeah, there's a fucked up looking dog with, like, backwards legs. For a second, and oh, then... Oh, yeah, they fucking bring that into the house, and it's really nasty. 
No idea what they do after. Oh, wait! They get put into the backyard and get, like, tormented by a child for quite a bit. Oh, and yeah. then they get put on a fucking rubber band gun. And, get and they just get shot the across a fence into another person's yard. Into which, the park. what the fuck, dude? That's illegal. Wow. And then, in the park, uh, they're like, okay, we're gonna proceed on our journey, and Stretch is like, but I'm not I don't know, guys, I have some doubts about this, I'm only a fucking rubber band. And then I'm they're like, rubber. we're also all rubber bands, you're like, oh, okay, I'll just come with you, I guess. And that's that. This was like fucking the guy from G-Force levels of, I regret something. You don't regret something. I do not regret something. Like, fucking, the world's easiest like, fuck, what's the word? Uh, conversion? Heel the word? turn? I don't know. Fuck if I know. Something that starts with a C. Yeah. So, it's it's a pretty bad story beat. All, there's no good story beats in this movie. The goodest story beat is a vegetable. None of them. None of them. Veg- there's a vegetable. vegetable? <laughs> Crunch on down. There's a... There's a... <laughs> <laughs> turns the leaves like pages. Ah, uh, a good story indeed. Crunch. What are you saying? It's a beat. B E E T. Uh, Do you get my funny joke? Uh, <laughs> you good? Uh, anyways, they're in the park. They're in a fucking sandbox, and like. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, uh, this is a fucking big old bippy from yeah, like big... you know that one pix you know that one Pixar film where they were like just starting out with 3D animation and it was like all the toys getting fucked up by this weird like 3D nasty looking CGI child. It was that. It was the child from that. No, it and wasn't it just, that like, bad. It wasn't that up bad. up takes one of the rubber bands. It wasn't that I think bad. it was Daisy, I'm not sure. Yeah, it takes the flower. It takes the flower. It wasn't it takes as bad flowy as... Undertale. It was nowhere near as bad as the Pixar baby. It was up there. I think it's because everything in this movie is detailed about as much as a single line. Yeah, there's... The problem with the Pixar baby is it has too much detail. Yeah, it's true. And it's... None of the details are good. <laughs> Although with this one, it just looks like it's straight out of fucking Boss Baby. But this one looks worse. like a thumb. <laughs> it's like the things from Spy Kids where they're just a thumb. Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, Daisy s- s- is like on that baby's arm for a while, and then... And then the baby and its mother go to the store. And I'm pretty sure this is, like, the same mother that said, No, that's garbage! On the floor, like, a yeah. few minutes ago. And so they go to the store again for some reason. And all the bands are just, like, at the store now for some reason. They're just walking around in the store for no They're reason. just, like, fucking doing whatever. Like, the fucking TV one is, like, ogling the TVs. And, like, yeah. making sexy comments at them because... Freaking, so, I don't know, straight people? They fuck around in the store for a while. There's a shot of the baby sitting in the shopping cart that makes it look, like, fucking massive. The baby <laughs> looks, like, ginormous. It's ridiculous. I don't there's, know why. There's, there's, also, there's also a bit where they're, like, the bands are running from something. And there's, like, a bit where, like, a broom sweeps over to, like, try and stop them. And you can see, as soon as the broom leaves the shot, its shadow on the floor stops moving. Which means that they didn't bother to animate it anymore past, like, the actual moving. Yeah. Which is, uh, the worst form of culling that I've ever seen. Yeah. So, I... I feel like I'm absolutely missing some 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 story. There is definitely something that we are missing right here at this moment. Like, but uh, the only thing I can I know, really remember I that know. we sort of glossed over is the fact that literally every single time Clown Plane sees another fucking airplane, it's like, wow, that's an airplane. I know that, that they were at the It's an airplane. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but that right there... Uh, it's an airplane. It has the ability to fly. 
I know and like thing. literally every single time the group of bands trademark is tossed she just fucking says oh i told you i could fly even though she literally says nothing about this before any fucking i don't know i'm having a stroke okay so i know that we were at the park and the baby picked up the flower and then i know at some point after that we were at the store but i don't know what yeah. happened in between those two parts i don't know how they got to the store or why because they didn't go to the store to rescue Daisy, because Daisy was happy to be with the baby. Yeah, she was like, wow, I finally found my purpose in life, clinging to a wrist. And then they just, like, fucking chase her for some reason. Like, no, you need to be with us. They don't chase her, though. They're like, oh, congrats, we're glad you found your person, or whatever. And then they're at the store that Daisy's at. Really? The fuck? Yeah. What is this movie, actually? Mm, I... You're getting so many details mixed up. I don't know what fucking happens in this movie. I just this watched movie is it just like, like a, a fucking days blur. Ago. It's not even a full-length movie. It's only like 45 minutes. Yeah, true. So... You could fit two of this in a regular movie. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you waste your time with one shitty movie when you can just watch Bands on the Run twice? I mean, come on, guys. So, anyways, I they think do they... some hijinks at the store, and then they find Daisy, she falls out of the baby's wrist, then the baby picks Daisy back up, and then the baby's siblings also pick up all the rubber bands, and then they and do, then like... And they're all just, like, fucking happy or whatever. And then they know. do postcards, like they went to France and stuff, and then the movie ends. Oh yes. Oh right. I f I forgot the. I remembered the thing that we forgot. It was the uh the fact that through like fifteen minute intervals throughout the movie, there are just like random like Adult Swim bump things where it's just like random pictures of the fucking yeah, there's like, main six just like plastered it's everywhere. Like t it's like TV bumpers. Like it's like it's like this was supposed to be aired on TV and this was what would play in between commercial breaks. It's wild. I don't know why it's in there, because this was not on TV, as far as I'm aware. This was a straight-to-video release, and then straight-to-YouTube. <laughs> so, Ooh. I don't fucking know... And then straight-to-dumpster? The straight-to-dumpster with corpse in it? Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know why it has, like, TV bumper spots. Because <sighs> it wasn't it's on authentic. TV. It wasn't on TV. This wasn't like a TV special. This was a this was supposed to be a film, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> so, like that's bands on the run. That's all there really is to be said about it. I think that's it. I don't um, think we can extract any more form of entertainment from a movie about fucking rubber. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for listening to the honeypot's grave thanks for listening to us talk about bands on the run for like half an hour almost join the patreon i posted something there pretty recently not related to the honeypot's grave if that's something you might be interested in um it's very nice you should see it well you haven't seen it because you're not a patron well how about shush i still think it's very nice <laughs> uh Join the Discord, play Minecraft with us, watch stuff that isn't related to this shitty podcast with us. Sometimes we watch good things in this Discord Sometimes. Server. Uh, yeah, just hang out with us if you want. Join the Discord server. It's like <laughs> the it's center okay. of my online presence, I suppose. So, uh, sh should I plug anything of mine hey, that I have? To. Uh, if you follow me on Tumblr, please reblog my. That's about it. Yeah. I feel like that would have more of an impact if I actually posted any of my art, or yeah. if I finished any of my art, well, or if I did anything, or I breathed. Yeah, follow us on Tumblr. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. I don't have an Instagram, but follow, follow me there on, anyways. Follow, follow one on of Vimeo. my impersonators on Instagram. Follow us on Vimeo. Get on MySpace. MySpace 1. Uh, 
get on, check us out on uh, Flickr. Get us on fucking LinkedIn. <laughs> check out our blog spots. <laughs> and if you really, 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 really like us, then you can follow us in real life. Sort of Don't... Bill Watterson style. Find us on the... Uh... Earth. Find us on... Um, uh... Google Earth. It's Ublog <laughs> Origin 1.2... 1.2.0. Uh, find us on fucking what's it called? Uh, draw a pile. Find us on Steam. Uh, find Waldo. Where's uh, Waldo? Please tell us where Waldo is. We've been looking for Waldo. Where the fuck is Waldo? We can't find him. Come on, guys. <laughs> we gotta find Waldo. Where is find this us on Internet man? Explorer? <laughs> D- fi- follow us on DeviantArt. <laughs> Check us follow out on us, for affinity. Follow us on hingelovers.com. Get on cup on curtain.net. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Everyone fucking head up to esper.net. Find us on, uh. Find us on Transformers Wiki. <laughs> Hit me up on artfight.net. Check us out on Villains Wiki. Check us out on the Scary Godmother Wiki. Uh, find us on Digital White Lines Moving 4K Relaxing Screensaver. One million one hundred and fifteen thousand. But if there's one thing that I do views, need to say to all of you people, likes, do not dislikes. follow us on Reddit. <laughs> don't <laughs> if you follow find us our Reddit, on Reddit profile. Just don't. Just don't do that one. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. It's illegal. It's against the law. I do have a Reddit. If you do it, I will come to your house and pour water on your brain while you're sleeping. I do have a Reddit if you do want to find that. Please do not. I've made some good posts on the regarding Homestuck disc- on the regarding Homestuck Reddit, so like Jesus Christ. You can find me on our Homestuck. Also find us on someone else's Tumblr. Just go to someone else's Tumblr and find a post that we've made. This has been the Honeypot's Grave, uh Probably. Thanks for listening to our little mistake. Yep. See you next time, hopefully. Yeah. See ya. <sighs> God.